Well, let's see if there's any other areas to go. No, I guess this is it, right? I'm kind of stuck here. We've got Walk of Shame, Tunnel of Love, Chamber of Horrors, and Hall of Memories. No, that's not right. And there's a buoy. Well, might as well start with the Hall of Memories, I guess. What do we have for inventory? We should check. Oh my. Hmm. This Hall of Memories seems strangely empty. We have no inventory right now. Those are all frames. I can't touch them. There's a velvet rope. Hmm. The frame's empty. Okay, perhaps this is not where we start. Chamber of Horrors, I guess. Hey, you want to play a game, Redhead? A giant orange in a poncho. Hmm. I think El Naranka here must be the embodiment of El Mono's darkest fear. That monkey's messed up. <laughs> Indeed. Hey there, little lady. Hey, you want to play a game, redhead? Stay away from me, you citric creep. It's a not particularly horrific shooting gallery. Let's give this a try. All right, a mini game. Am I hitting any of them? <laughs> Bad luck, sister. Damn. Let's give this a try. Oh, I see. I'm not supposed to... Oh. Uh, okay, I get it now. I was hitting the bat. I was hitting the wrong things. Don't hit the guns that are not bad. I don't know if he's supposed to be bad or not. That was better. <laughs> bad luck, not good sister. enough, I guess. Damn! Let's give this a try. Shoot oranges. I don't know if we're supposed to shoot him or not. Really? <laughs> Bad luck, sister. Damn! I guess if I had a better sense of... Let's give what this I'm a try. To do. Okay, you're not supposed to hit him, I guess. <laughs> Bad luck, sister. I mean, it seemed to me like Damn. I'd hit all the oranges. So... Let's give this a try. Maybe we're not supposed to hit the oranges. That'd be weird, though. Yes! 
Guess I was just one short. Adios. I think I've just exercised Elmono's greatest fear. So he's shooting oranges? What now? Anything else to do in here? It's a not particularly her Hmm. Well, we'll go out. See what happens. Oh, it fades away. But there's nowhere to go. So we'll go to Tunnel of Love then. Claw Grabber game? Oh man, I'm really going to be terrible at this. Prizes are all El Mono. They seem to be stuffed El Mono toys. It's one of those grabby crane claw games. A disgustingly sweet little girl. <laughs> How do we know she's disgustingly sweet? We haven't talked to her. Hello, little girl. Are you lost? <laughs> no! Well, I am, quite badly. Do you know where the fire exit is? Yeah, she didn't fall for that. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get a teddy monkey. Teddy monkey? Oh, you mean one of those stuffed El Mono toys? See. Si. How do you get one of those El Monos? You have to solve the thing. A riddle? Is it the who walks on four legs in the morning one? Because I know that guy. No, the grabby grabby hand. I've also met that guy. <laughs> no, the picking claw. Oh, I see. I'll help you in the game. You will? Thanks. Right then. Okay. Let's try it. Uh... Oh. It doesn't even go down very far, huh? So I have to wait until it pops up. But I'm too slow. I guess it does move slightly before it's going to do it, and then you have to hit it at exactly that point. Except that Elmano doesn't go very often. Wow. Or maybe I have to do it when he's moving, because he seemed to go before Elmano did. See if the order is the same. Should come back to the captain. Yeah, that would have been right, but we don't too soon. Bird, come to the captain. We should start moving. Ah, you gotta wait. I wait more than that. Dino or whatever that's supposed to be. Whiskey ship bird. Captain. El Mono. Aha, we got him that time. You won! There you go. Oh, thank you. I love him. I'm going to love him forever and ever and ever. All right, don't overdo <laughs> it. I think I just reminded El Mono about the love of his life. Okay. So this one should disappear now. Walk of shame. Let's 
Some sort of an organ, a barrel organ. A steam-powered barrel organ. A steam power. A dubious looking hombre in a straw hat. A three legged card table. Step right up, step right up. Find the lady, win your freedom. Find the lady. Sure thing. Find the Queen of Hearts, win a prize. Wanna play? Okay. Then let's play Three Card Monkey. <laughs> Cheat! El Mono did something. He cheated. You're crazy, lady. He was doing a happy dance. You messed with the cards, you lousy cheat. Great. More dancing. Step right up, find the lady. Who's the monkey? He's nobody. I'm the organ grinder. He dances to my tune. Step right up. Hmm. See you. Prizes to be won. It's locked. But we can turn it, I guess. How would we know which way to go? Hmm, maybe to turn a bit further the first time. Hmm. Uh, I don't understand what this is supposed to be. It's some kind of weird padlock. Yeah, I get that. Can go left and right. No, I don't think that's right. Can go left and right. There's got to be a clue as to why. There's three legs here. There's three cards. I don't think that's something right. Something about his dance, maybe. You messed with the cards. Huh? Yeah, we need to see that again. You messed with the cards, you lousy cheat. Right, left, left, right, left, left. Huh? Okay, just give it a shot. Let's have a look. Ah, I see the problem. There's an old rag jamming part of the mechanism. There. That ought to change El Mono's tune. Let's see what that does. So now we have to have another go? He's... A familiar looking monkey. He's at least paying attention now. You messed no, with the. Never mind that. 
Huh? Step right up, find the lady. Find the lady? Wanna play? Okay. Then let's play Three Card Monkey. I'd better not. Hmm. So he's moving the same way, I wonder. <laughs> or at least he didn't. Step right up, step do right up. With the cards. Find the lady. Find the lady. Wanna play? Okay. Then let's play three card monkey. I know you're supposed to be able to see which one he does, but I, I didn't really follow it. Well, we got it. I win! Hey, what's the deal here, you dumb ape? Hey, I thought we was partners. Hey! I'm fading away. I think I just stopped El Mono working for the man. Hmm, okay. Well, that's probably good. He's done, done working for Widebeard, perhaps? So now the Hall of Memories is the only place to go. What is this thing? What is the buoy about? Now there's memories now. I think I understand El Mono now. He used to belong to a little girl. They loved each other until... They were separated by a terrible accident. And El Mono was struck by lightning in an orange wagon. After that... Almono forgot about the little girl and entered a life of shame. He started working as Baron Widebeard's shamanic henchman. Isn't it time you did the right thing, Almono? You don't have to attack the Gloomholm Ptarmigans. Almono! Call off the foul fleet and end this now. Well, that was easier than I expected. Safe journey. No more hypnotizing now, you hear? The wide beards are on their way to somewhere they can do no harm. I locked them in the Santiana's brig myself. Good work, Sebastian. You're very good with doors, for a bird. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I've got a few questions for you, Brad. We ptarmigans are in your debt, Nelly. You have averted feathery carnage. Ah, it was knee bother. Ask your questions, and I will answer. What actually is Bloodbeard's treasure, exactly? Don't you know? It's an object of great power and importance to William, envied by none more than his brother, Baron Whitebeard. But you... You are the one to recover it. Wow. But what actually, exactly, actually is it? We don't <laughs> know. So how can I recover the treasure? On Bloodbeard's last voyage, the Sweet Mary was hit by a fearful snowstorm. Tell me about it. I was swept off deck. A terrible wind wrecked the ship in the crater of an extinct volcano. Germain, please point to the volcano. <laughs> Thanks, Jermaine. <laughs> it's but there is a legend among the people of Gloomholm. That old geezer will one day take a hero into the heart of the volcano. Who? Jermaine, please point at the geezer. Right here. If you fulfill the prophecy, that geezer will carry you to the treasure. We would say geyser, but okay. What can you tell me about Gloomholm? It can be a cold and hard place, 
You will meet good people and bad. But take care near the forest, for the abominable snowbird walks in the pines. The abominable snowbird? That's just a myth. It is real and deadly. Even the brave ptarmigans shudder when we hear its dread cry. Sorry, I thought it was going to cry in the distance or something. Me too. <laughs> there it is. Ooh. What's the prophecy? Legend says that old geezer awaits a hero. A hero with the soul of a warrior. The spirit of a huntsman. And the will of a wise man. If you have those things, the geezer will lead you deep into the heart of the volcano. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Who's that guy you're sitting on? How rude of me. This is Jermaine, my personal assistant. Hello. He's very good at getting things off high shelves. What a good idea. I might get one. Bye. Okay, so he doesn't speak for himself, I guess. Good luck. Do you like having Brad on your shoulder all the time? Ah, uh, it's a living. What do you do when he needs to, you know, go? Well, where can we go from here? Is there anywhere to go? I prefer not to talk about that. Good luck on your quest, Nelly. <laughs> That's quite a pause. So I guess we can just go to those places. We can go to the Heartless. Not yet. I haven't fulfilled the prophecy. Wait. I don't have the soul of a warrior yet. Well, what are these over here? I'm still looking for the spirit of a huntsman. Mm. And I still lack the will. A massive peak encrusted with ice. There's something wrong with those palm trees. They're hairy all the way down. A git massive pile of scrolls. Well, there's going to be something useful there, right? I don't want a preachy mm. scroll. I can't sail away. I've got questing okay. to do. Who's this guy? Repent, sinner! Who you calling a sinner? I'm no more a sinner than you are. We are all wretched sinners. Then I'm probably at the less sinny end of the scale. Godless heathen. What's your game, eh? Calling people sinners, standing on a rock like a numpty. I am a holy man, a preacher. Is that why you're wearing a dressing gown at lunchtime? Mock me all you like. Okay, you're a balding, beaky. Mock me all you like. But you won't be laughing once I'm mayor of Gloomholm. Mayor of Gloomholm? They called the old mayor wise, but he was far too lax. I intend to bring about a new age of holiness and purity. Sounds awful. I'll start by removing those coin-operated machines from pub toilets. They encourage lewd and sinful behavior. Are you sure that's wise? Absolutely. The gents is no place for a whack-a-mole. <laughs> Tell me about Gloomholm. The people of Gloomholm are a noble warrior race. I used to be a noble warrior race. Then I took an arrow to the knee. We do not welcome southern devil worshippers. Who are you calling southern? See you in hell. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I wonder why they call them roundhouses. Oh, so these are supposed to be like Vikings, kind of? It marks the center of the village. A serious looking boy. The pastry seller looks formidable. Hilda. Let's go see the boy, I guess. Hello, I'm Nelly. Pleased to meet you, miss. My name is Anders Maymaker. 
Mayor Maker? That's an unusual surname. My family selects the mayors of Bloomholm. Wise old mayor Latterday passed away a while ago. So as the eldest mayor maker, it's my duty to read the Book of Omens. A sign will show me who should take the helm of Hood Crucianshmash. Crucianshmash. Ooh. What's the deal with that helmet? Hood Crucianshmash was a great Bloomholm warrior king. We believe that a warrior's soul resides in his helm after death. Whoever bears the helm carries the soul of Crucian Smash. Right. Any chance you would give that helm to me? No, no, it will belong to the next mayor. So, who's going to be the next mayor? That's the problem. I've been reading the Book of Omens for weeks. I haven't seen any omens, signs, auguries or portents. Not even an auspice. That's tough. Father Rodstaff is always telling me I should make him mayor, but he just wants to boss everyone around. Hmm. Why don't you make me mayor? Well, I expect you'd be as good a mayor as any, but I haven't seen an omen telling me to make you mayor. Right. Can I have a look at the book? Absolutely not. But there might be some omens you've missed. Ones which say I should be mayor and get the helm. Sorry, no one else is allowed to read it. Hmm. Tell me about Gloomholm. It's all right, I suppose. A bit shouty and stompy. A bit... By Thor's hammer, <laughs> give me a horn of mead. But apart from that, it's okay. Bye. Right, so we can't get the book from him yet. Gods keep you. I couldn't climb the Gloomholm monument. Or is it an obelisk? Or a men here? Or some kind of orthostat? Who said my standing stone thesaurus was a waste of money? <laughs> well, let's see what Hilda has to say. Hello, I'm Nelly. And I am Hilda. And this is the finest pastry shop in Gloomholm. Are there a lot of pastry shops in Gloomholm? Not anymore. I put them all out of business with my delicious apple pastry. How do you get your hair to do that? Apple sauce. Mmm. <laughs> Talk later. Goodbye. Right, nothing to do there, I guess. Bjorn! Olafsen! Nelly! Nelly! What are you doing here? Gloomholm is being our home. We are living here as little Bjorns and Olafsons. Before we are moving away to become traders. <laughs> How come no one here talks as weird as you? You know, if you're from here. We are talking weirdly. I am thinking you are having yoking on us, Miss Kutelot. Um, yeah, I was having yoking. Cheeky. What are you selling? It's like an arm. We are selling a comprehensive range of maritime goods. From anchors, buoys and cannons. To zinc-plated compasses. We still specialize in good old replacement appendages. Hooks, hands and other helpful gadgets. And now we are also offering maritime insurance. Allowing your loved ones to relax while you are drowning at sea. <laughs> Tell me about your range of hooks. We would be laughing too. Okay. <laughs> the Le Hook Classic, the Scuppermatic, the Eye Hook, the Iron Grip. Enough about hooks. Show me Le Hook Classic. An excellent choice this is being. Where the gouging enemies at sea. Or gouging friends on the beach. It is a traditional design that is never going out of style. Only forty nine ninety nine. Mm hmm. Show me the Scuppermatic. With no more than a twist of the wrist. The scuppermatic is penetrating the hull of any vessel. A formidable weapon in battle. It's a corkscrew. Uh, yes, it is also being used to screw corks. Two in one. Only seventy-nine ninety-nine. Show me the eye fork. Ah, the long-awaited successor to the eye hook. What is there <laughs> to say about it? I am having no words. 
What the product? It's rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. Only 99.99. Show me the iron grip. Cast from the hand of Paddy O'Shea. World's burliest navy three years running. The iron grip will be giving you a manly grasp. An overcompensating power handshake. Only one ninety nine ninety nine. Enough okay. I guess we're gonna have to get one of those at some point. Tell me about this maritime insurance. Of course. What kind of insurance do you offer? Her policies are being perfectly suited to today's seafare. Insuring against shipwreck, drowning, mutiny, keel hauling, tarring, and cannon lash. Sign up today and be receiving any hook from our oh. range. Absolutely free. I see. A free hook, you say? Yeah! Sign me up. Excellent. That will be a monthly fee of $250. Oh. Uh, I don't want to get stuck in that right now. That's enough about insurance. Okay. We'll go back to those guys Let us know we later. Once See we ya. know what hook we need. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. Let's see what this guy is about. Eric Redface. Hello. Hello to you. My name's Nelly. I am Eric Redface, the hunter. Mm. The hunter. Hunter, eh? That's right. I'm not a fan of hunting. Always struck me as farming for the underprepared. <laughs> a hunter is a man of dignity. Hunting is an ancient and universal art. So is farting. <laughs> what are you drinking? Now the wind is in the east, I drink mead. I will drink spirits when the wind rises in the west. Or when I run out of mead. <laughs> Spirit, you say? Yes, I have a still out in yon pines. I make my way out there whenever I run low on drink. Oh, really? But before you think of stealing my spirit, you'd be wise to remember there's a monster in those woods. The Abominable Snowbird. The Abominable Snowbird? You're just trying to scare me off. I've seen it. Looming figure, gaping maw, blood-curdling cry. Only I know the safe path to the still. Later. Okay. Farewell. It's a big jug with X's on. Mm -hmm. I feel like a hoedown could break out at any moment. The hunter says it contains mead. It's a nautical supply stall slash boat. And that goes to the forest, which we're told is dangerous. We can go back to the beach. Ah, oh, here we go. This doesn't look good. Balderdash! Lies! Now, now, please calm down, gentlemen. If Mr. Latterday here... He's not Mr. Latterday. I am. I most definitely am Mr. Latterday. Please continue. Stop! No, oh, dear, oh dear, what a mess. Looks like something's not right in the graveyard. R.I.P. Jan Latterday, Mayor of Gloomholm. My father. My father! Hmm. The grim little stone reads, Here lies Forbury Delson, writer of bleak police procedurals. <laughs> This one looks like painted plywood. It says, in memory of Ingmar Kia. Jeez, historical folk really wanted people to know they were dead. Suppose they thought big tombs would make future generations show them respect. Bunch of bony losers. <laughs> he looks stern. An angry looking young man dressed in green. A confident young man dressed in green. Hmm. What's going on here? It's nothing, miss. 
Merely a private dispute between Mr. Latterday and, uh... And a rank imposter. Please, don't raise your voice in front of my father's grave. It's my father's grave, you mountebank fraud. Mr. Hook, do you think we might conclude our business in private? I'll crack your skull first, you charlatan! <laughs> I I'm afraid the situation is rather delicate. Maybe I can help. Well... I am the executor of the late Mayor Latterday's will. My friend Latterday left his entire estate to his son, Gull. Pleased to meet you. No, I'm pleased to meet you. As you observe, both these gentlemen claim to be Gull Latterday. It's at moments like this I miss Mayor Latterday. His wisdom always saw us through hard times. Surely someone knows the real Gull. No. You see, Master Gull left Gloomhome as a boy to pursue his schooling. No one here has seen him for years. You say Old Latterday was wise? Very. Can I get a look at his will? Certainly not. <laughs> I hope you're not going to claim to be Gull Latterday as well. No, 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 no. I just need the will of a wise man. Please, I am very busy. If your name's Hook, how come you don't have hooks for hands? Madam, I see no reason why I should have something merely because it's in my name. What if I help you sort this mess out? Would you let me have the will then? Well, if you were to assist me, I suppose I could give you a copy in the capacity of junior clerk or some such. Then I'll weasel out the fraud. I'll crack him like a breadstick. You mustn't torture them. Oh, then I suppose I'll ask around. See if anyone knows anything. Then crack him like a breadstick. Okay. Bye. Uh, yes, yes, very good. Well, the birds are probably the first one to talk to. Hello. I'm Nelly Cutelot. Hello, I'm Gull Latterday. No, you aren't. I'm Gull Latterday, you walrus turd. I apologize for the rudeness of this confused individual. What's up with you and that guy? I'm the victim of a bad practical joke. No, you're the perpetrator of a diabolical imposture. That gentleman is pretending to be me. Boulder Dash! The whole business is rather upsetting. Can I ask you a few questions? What would you like to know? Actually, I don't have any questions <laughs> yet. I'm going to ask around, gather okay. clues. Wait here. Very good. So probably not much point in talking to the other one then. Well, the first thing to do would be to talk to the birds, maybe, but we're, we're right here with this guy. Do you know Gull Latterday? I know he's the son of the old mayor, but I was very little when he left Gloomhome. I don't really remember him. Sorry. And Bye. He would. Gods keep you. What about Hilda? Do you know Gull Latterday? Ah, I heard the old mayor's son was back in town. Does he have any distinguishing characteristics? Yes, he always... Yes? He always wore green. It was his favorite color. Hmm, I suppose that might be useful. It might be. Talk later. Except it Goodbye. isn't. Goodbye. I don't know if these guys are going to know him. What do you know about Gull Latterday? What a lovely boy he was being. Always playing what for him. Nafmentafel. Nafmentafel. Gesundheit. Yeah, he was always playing Nafmentafel with the other boys. Hmm, be that useful. might be useful. I'm trying to tell him apart from an imposter. An imposter? But young Gull is being as distinct an individual as Bjorn here. Yeah, as distinct an individual as Olaf's in here. He couldn't possibly be being imposted. Hmm. See ya. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. What do you remember about the young girl last day? You know, before he left Gloomhome. I remember he was a skinny little weed. Not a good hunter. No beard. Children don't have beards. I did. <laughs> Later. Fire All right, we'll go to the beach. Oh, well, Sebastian's not going to know anything. But the other birds might. I 
suppose even this guy might. What do you know about Gull Latter Day? Everything. In his youth, I was his tutor. So what can you tell me about him? Not a thing. I will not share my wisdom with a godless heathen. Hmm. I'm not a godless heathen. Ha! Oh, I bet you can't recite one of the sacred scrolls. I know all about the sacred scrolls. Ask me anything. Very well. Recite for me the saga of Hrolg the Pious. <clears throat> long, long ago... Right, um... Hrolg was there... Uh, etc. Poor. See you in hell. <laughs> yep. Huh. Professor Morgan gave me a packed lunch. I think she feels bad for stowing away. Let's see what we've got here. A sandwich, a flask of water, and Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuits. Get in. Nice. And we still have a candle. This is a startled muskrat scent candle. Huh. I kept it because the startled muskrat scent is quite soothing. Maybe Year of the Penguin is my star sign, just like Chef Fat. Hmm. Possibly. Do you like having Brad on your... Uh. What do you do? Alright, so that's... What about Brad? Can we talk to the birds? And this is this dreadfully I long pause. Good luck on your quest. Oh, he... Hello again. Do you know Gull Latterday? What kind of gull is he? He's not a gull, he's a human. Oh, I'm afraid we ptarmigans are not well acquainted with the Gloomhomers. Hmm. Bye. Good All right, so we have to do something with the scroll. Let's see. Maybe Sebastian could take one of the scrolls for us? I get massive pile of scrolls. I can barely read a word. No way I can recite any of these scrolls. They're a load of Rooney nonsense. Oh. Okay. Hmm. So he knows something that probably will allow us to identify which one's the mayor's son.